Hi, my name's Abby. Yeah, um, I thought it was a really powerful forum and really good opportunity to hear, I think, everyone's different opinions. And I think a lot of people there would have, I really um, kind of, I think it reflected some experiences that I've had and things I've thought of and it was really interesting to hear other people say similar things. Um, I think it's yeah, really important to get together and talk about these sorts of issues. And in particular, one thing that um, was really good that came out of it was the statistics that, um, for example, in this area, young African people are, I think from memory, 2.4 times more likely to be stopped by police and yet committing less crime, statistically. And so that, for example, um, I don't know, it shows the importance of statistics. I'm not actually from Flemington, Kensington, but I live close by, but it kind of got me thinking about how important it is for the media to base things on statistics rather than kind of racialising things or um, stereotyping people. And so it was good for everyone to get together from all different communities, not just African communities, but people from other cultures were here as well, which is important. Yeah. I think everyone should just maybe reflect, but there's clearly something wrong going on and it's really important for us all to think about it and think about how to make positive change. And it's really important at every level of police and every level of community to think about how it can be improved and what decisions made today are doing to maybe cause negative things in the future. My name is Omar Abalmer. I know the case from the beginning uh, involved in organizing a few uh, forums and uh, uh, dealt with this case, which is, uh, I mean, we had uh, two cases today we dealt through. All we dealt through is about how injustice happened, what we need to do, uh, what's the outcome. If, for example, if we start talking about the uh, stop and the search, uh, the outcome from the High Court, that was satisfactory for a time being. It's a little bit of like a uh, slight of freedom for the young kids who've been really gone through a lot because of stop and search. Uh, we all think this institution is not really helping us. We want to just do the right thing and also we want the system to help us in the right way. Uh, the African community has got a lot of a lot of uh, duty uh, in front of them, uh, meaning they has to cooperate, they has to work hard. They should know the system as well very well. They should know their obligation, and also they should fight for their freedom. My name is Sarah Gabrielot, and I'm in Flemington area. I think it's a great idea. Um, Africans getting together and going against what's going on, which is the racial discriminations against young kids, mainly the males. I personally had an experience with a police officer who, yes, I was on the wrong side, but he had me in an interview room where he, he was kind of sexually teasing me and then turning off the uh, recorder while he's interviewing me and then saying, oh, if turning it off and saying, oh, if you can do sexual favours or I can get rid of the charges. Mm. Obviously, I didn't do that and ended up going to court, but he didn't show his face there. So I think the message is, doesn't matter where we're from or what culture or religion we believe in, we should all unite together and go against all this discrimination that's going on and forget our problems and just really get together and support each other. I think Victorian police have a lot of power to empower people but instead they're using it to de defeat people and so really they could do a lot of things to actually lift that and and really help Australia as a country and empower people, Africans or Asians or whatever we are. Oh, hi, my name is Meyat Hassan. I'm a, a volunteer at Flemington Community Legal Centre and I'm also currently involved in the planning of a fantastic event that is going to happen in May, on May and it's called Africa Day Celebrations. For the African communities, I say it's going to be, it is a long journey, and I don't think we're going to fix this problem very soon. So I guess we need to be very persistent, very patient, and also to organize ourselves to address this issue, which is really impacting on the well-being of the community. 
as for the factory police, I know that you know there is always you know there is some bad apples, Shana but I think it's something that also the. Um, uh, Victoria Police needs to look at and maybe um, work with the African communities to come up with some constructive uh, ways of engaging with the African communities. And hopefully, and I'm sure that there is some uh, goodwill from Victoria Police, and I'm hoping they will probably, there are some lessons to learn about the recent race discrimination settlement. So we look forward to working with the Victoria Police and I hope it's going to, you know, we're going to address this issue. My name is Bersenji Ibrahim um, of Williamstown and Fuscray. Um, I lived here a lot since 98 um, and when came back 2002. I've been living here ever since. I work for the DHS, um, I organize uh, I'm the founder of earthsunmusic.com and do other other businesses. Yes. Um, well, like like any other forum, so we've been having uh, um, discussions last six years, and um, well, it feels good to talk about it. It became more like not not not, not a conference or a meeting. It became more like a, a psychology uh, uh, office where people who are, are um, discriminated and are hurting to come and, and discuss. To me, that's what I, I, I believe. It become it's nonsense. We just come all the time and talk about it, but nothing changed. Um, I've got one, one clear message, is, which is uh, well, this country is, is built on numbers. If you don't have numbers and you unite yourself and come together and, uh, as one, then no one's going to help you. And I mean no one. Yeah. And one more thing that I would like to add is, uh, in my opinion, the media is more corrupt, actually, uh, the, the commercial Australian media is more corrupted and more racist than than Australian police. That's 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 exactly what I believe. I'm Graham Romanus, the honorary consul general for Ethiopia here in Australia. Uh, I've just attended the forum here in North Melbourne. Uh, my reflections are that it's a very important forum. It's a very important discussion for us to keep going. The Discrimination against uh, the African community here in Victoria is a very serious problem uh, and has led to a lot of blind eyes being turned to problems here, particularly in relation to the mistreatment of individual Africans. Uh, we certainly welcome uh, the police's new interest in this issue. Uh, my plea is also that the African community itself hold together as best they can to keep their message clear and precise to the police uh, and to the Victorian community uh, that this is an issue affecting them all as a community and that they should not allow themselves to be divided uh, by any inquiries which are going on. Uh, and I'm, I'm look, looking forward to uh, the future of uh, the inquiries as they happen.